Hello, I'm Niall from Glasgow Science Centre and today I'm going to be dissecting an electric guitar. I'm going to be tearing its guts out, ripping its neck off, leaving no string unstrummed. The thing is with an electric guitar, you're not just making music, you're making electricity. And now a safety warning. Do not attempt to dissect a guitar, amplifier, or any electric equipment without adult supervision. Making music should be fun and safe. Now, back to the dissection. Acoustic and electric guitars are two very different beasts. Acoustic guitars have hollow bodies, which are key for producing and amplifying our music. In contrast, electric guitars normally have a solid body, and it's less important for producing the sound than its other components. The big difference here is its use of electromagnetic induction. Every time you strum an electric guitar, you're making electricity. It's a little bit like a dynamo you might find in a wind-up torch. In a dynamo, either a magnet moves around copper wire or copper wire moves around a magnet. This movement induces an electric current, which can be used to power something. For an electric guitar, they have the copper wire and they have the magnets, but they are both sitting still. Instead, what is moving are the strings, normally made of steel, and when they move, they disrupt the stable magnetic fields around the pickups. This isn't just rock and roll, it's electrifying. <laughs> Starting at the top, we find tuning pegs. These pegs are used to adjust the tension of our strings, which affect the pitch. The strings go from the pegs along the fretboard, and these frets allow you to press down and shorten a string. The shorter a string, the higher the note. The density of a string also affects the note. The denser a string, the lower the note. Acoustic guitar strings can be made of pretty much anything. They're normally made of nylon or animal gut, but electric guitar strings are metal and normally steel for a reason. They need to be able to interact with the pickup's magnetic field. Pickups are magnets wrapped in copper wire coil. Pickups create a stable magnetic field until metal strings move through it. These vibrating metal strings induce an electric current in the copper coil, and this electric current fluctuates in line with the string's movement. For example, the low E string on a guitar vibrates around 82 times a second. As a frequency, this is measured as 82 hertz, each note has its own hertz measurement. This is translated from the electric current to the vibrations of a speaker in an amplifier. The electric current travels through the copper wire from the pickups to the volume, tone, and pickup selector dials. The pickup selector allows you to choose where your signal is taken from. For our three pickups, this gives us five options, allowing you to pick between a single pickup or a combination. The location of each pickup gives a different tone. The pickups closer to the bridge emphasize higher frequencies, the pickup closer to the neck emphasizes lower frequencies, and the pickup in the middle focuses on the mid-range. The tone dial can be used to take out higher frequencies from the guitar, giving you a warmer sound. You can adjust it to take out as much or as little as you like. The volume dial is in charge of how much signal you're sending from the guitar to the lead, which in turn affects how loud the guitar sounds. The more signal, the more noise. In summary, when you play an electric guitar, you are creating electricity. The strings vibrate and disrupt the stable magnetic field created by the pickups. The current goes from there through the pickup selector tone and volume dials. After they affect the signal, it leaves the guitar through a lead and goes into an amplifier. The amplifier boosts the current to make it strong enough to drive a speaker, which vibrates at the same frequencies as the strings you strummed at the beginning of our journey. Here we go. Please tell me I don't have to put that guitar back together.